Hi everybody, this is Lisa Hutchings, School and Family Education Coordinator from Mass Audubon Joppa Flats in Newburyport. Now I am here at the edge of a vernal pool. A vernal pool is what we call a spring or a temporary pool because it fills up with the melting snow and the spring rains like we've had recently and it will pretty much be all evaporated and dried up by the middle of summer. So any wildlife that's going to be here has to go through their entire life cycle or they're gonna become prey and be part of a vernal pool food chain. Now the sound that we're listening for is a strange, almost like a duck sound, but instead of quack, a wood frog goes ack, and they do it repeatedly, so it's kinda like ack, 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 and that's what we're listening for. We're listening for those male wood frogs singing in courtship to the female wood frogs. So let's see if we can find any of those wood frogs in this vernal pool on this nice sunny day in the early afternoon. I want to show you where to find wood frogs if you have a vernal pool near your yard or in your neighborhood. The thing to remember is they like the sunny spots of the vernal pool. So you wanna look and listen to where the sun shines the most in the vernal pool. So wood frogs are either gonna be floating at the surface in those sunny areas, just holding nice and still with their little eyes just above the surface and their legs spread out like they're doing the butterfly in a swimming pool or you're going to look on the edges of the vernal pool where there might be slightly submerged logs or large branches and look for them sitting there. Now, let's use our science eyes and look across the surface. Do we see anything? Oh, what's that? Oh, I see a wood frog right there at the surface. And here's another one. Now, we're going to check out some of the eggs. These may not look like eggs, but there are thousands of them in big jelly-like masses. And all of those eggs have tadpoles in them. Can you believe that it only takes a week for these tadpoles to hatch? Now, how fast they hatch depends on the temperature of the water and how much food they'll have available. The ones that don't hatch will just become part of the food chain. I hope you had fun watching this video. Did you learn something new? If you do go explore at the Vernal Pool, make sure you're safe, make sure you have someone with you, and remember to leave everything the way you found it. See you next time.